Hey guys, what's up? It's Andy Elliott. Check this out. Today I'm going to show you how to literally post a Craigslist ad. And like when I say get leads, I want to show you a trick that I've never showed you ever before, ever, 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 ever. As a matter of fact, you've never even seen it on Craigslist. But how I can put an ad out and in one hour I can get 50 leads on it. So would you be willing to spend $5 on Craigslist if you could get 50 leads in an hour? Absolutely. I'm going to show you something, and I want to start out. This is the series, uh, series two of a four-part series. Yesterday, um, I took pictures of a Jeep. Now, obviously, I showed you kind of how to take some pictures. This is the part where we're going to post the Jeep. So if you haven't seen series one of this, I'll put the link below on it, series one, where you can watch how I photo the Jeep. The second, I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek here, okay, before we post it, but take a, take a little looky at this. Ooh, looking nice, check this out. This right here, this is, this is how we kill it. You see this Wrangler right here? This is the picture I took yesterday, and you see where it says text me? Watch this, text me, top dollar for trade-ins, great financing available. No payments until March of 2020. We get nine out of 10 people approved. Credit is no issue. Got some pictures of the interior as it goes around the Jeep. Shows all the features. Boom, text me again, right? What does it make you wanna do as a customer? I don't know, sounds like I wanna text you. Check this out, brand new tires. Leather, navigation. Guys, this right here is the way to kill it on Craigslist. So as I, I'm gonna go through, number one, how to post it. There's a couple things that I wanna go through here. Number one, your pictures are everything. Number two, what's the call to action on this Jeep? Well, obviously, I want them to text me. I wanna capture the lead. I want when the customer is live and they're looking at the ad, I don't want them to just merrily kind of look at it and then at the end it has my phone number. And by the way, I, I'm just gonna feed over into this. The part three series of this is gonna be how to post on Facebook. So, but, so everybody can understand this. I'm gonna get into ad writing here in a minute because I wanna share this with you. If you're killer at ad writing and you can kill it at writing your ads, if you're great at copywriting, which is what I'm gonna teach you right now, number one, these are the pictures, okay, which is like unbelievable. You can see that right there, okay? See as I go to the next Jeep, see that right there? Top dollar for trade-ins. All right, so look, there's something going on in this guy's head, right, this lady's head. Number one, they're looking for, maybe the Jeep caught their attention. Number, number one, they have a trade-in, right? So what are they thinking whenever they're looking at a car? Wait. Oh, wow, well, they give top dollar for trade-ins. Automatically, it seems like I'd be high in that area for them. That area is important to them. I'll be high in it. How do they know that? Because I, I put it on there. Right here, right, like I said, putting my ad, put, putting my phone number in the ad is one thing. Guys, putting it right here where they can see it, what does it make them want to do? They're not even reading the ad yet. And what do they want to do? Text me. Here we go. Guess what? Capture the lead. We don't want phone calls. We want text messages. Why? Well, well, after the second attempt on a text, somebody texts, you say, hey, wonderful meeting you. You know what I'm saying? I hope you're having a great day. And then guess what you do? Boom. You, you immediately go from a text to a call and you say, hey, I apologize. I'm driving. So I didn't want to get in an accident. So I didn't want to keep texting. So I thought I would call you. I mean, what are they gonna say? No, I didn't, I didn't want, I want you to get in a car wreck. I mean, you can take it from a text to a call, okay? Get the text messages. Capture, I want, I want you to understand this. With your customers, I want you to sell them. Get the text message. So, I didn't say call me. People are hesitant to call you. Put text me, guess what? They'll shoot you a general text. This will create 50 leads in an hour. All right, let's go to the next one. Top dollar for trade-ins. Right here, this is a big deal. Maybe a person is second guessing their credit, right? Great financing available. Maybe they have great credit and they wanna get great rates. Great financing available, it's right here. I'm just thinking of anything that they would think of that comes along with the process during a buying a car and I wanna shout it out to them without physically even talking to them yet. Okay, look at this one. Guys, you talk about fishing for customers, 
No payments until March of 2020. What? Dude, no payments for three months? Check this out. Now, I want to explain this to you guys so you're like, oh, well, how does that happen? In our dealership, payments are due every 30 days to every 45 days. Well, here's the kicker. First of all, credit unions will give you 90 days to your first payment, okay? All right, now listen, did I say that everybody gets that? No, but a lot of people have the option to get 90 days until their first payment. We need to fish. Is it Christmas time? Yeah. Would people want to buy a car right now with Christmas coming up and things happening? No, they don't. But if you can show them that they don't have a payment due until next, tax, next year tax season when they got refunds coming in, you think maybe they might step into that deal now? Yeah, I think so. You have to give them reasons and excuses why they should reach out to you now. What makes you different than everyone else on the market? These little tools. Guys, go to Craigslist. You may see somebody that has the name of their dealership on their ad. Name one ad you see that has this on there. Not one. I am literally giving you guys a niche right now that when I just tell you this, you're going to freak out. Now, does it take a minute? It takes a minute to go through. And basically, you go to your iPhone, go to your Android, hit edit. Guess what? Th throw in a little... Uh, it, listen, how about I do this? If you don't know how to put these on the ad, here's what I want you to do. Send me a text message, 918-210-0254. Tell me what kind of phone you have. I'll show you in two minutes how to do it. 918-210-0254, that's my cell phone. I'll show you how to do it. That way you guys can make sure that you're like, hey, I don't know how to do that. I'll show you how to do it in two minutes. And by the way, once I'm done posting this whole ad, if you want the, the copy of this ad, do me a favor, send me a text message and say, Andy, send me that uh, Craigslist Jeep ad you just posted. What I'll do is I'll send you the ad so you can basically print it out and take a look at it so when you're posting your ads from now on, you can double check all the things that I go through from copywriting to how I put my payments on the ad to everything. We're gonna get to that, but I, I, don't, I don't want you to understand that it's not about just posting cars, it's about posting an ad. I would rather you post one car a day and get 50 leads from it than post 10 and have two leads. So if you're, if you're out there, I just want you to post one car a day. One car on Craigslist every day, but post it where like when you post it, you're like, oh my gosh, like not only am I going to sell this today, but like I'm going to get 50 leads on this car and for five bucks. Are you kidding me? So let's keep moving here. Watch this one. Look at this. We get nine out of 10 people approved. Credit is no issue. Now I'm going to say this to you, okay? Don't prejudge credit. Get the lead, work the lead, try to turn the lead into a deal, okay? Did I say we get everybody approved? No, I said we get nine out of 10 people approved. Does that mean everybody can get approved? No, it doesn't. But it says credit's not an issue. So if they're on the other end and they, and they don't have great credit, guess what? They may be thinking that only people with great credit gets to drive nice Jeeps like this. Listen, you might get a credit out, go take it to your finance director and he says, hey man, what time can they be here? I got it approved. Next thing you know, you got a deal. That guy, you have to let him know he needs to reach out to you if he has less than perfect credit, okay? All right, let's go to the next one. Now, I got some pictures of the interior here, all right? Now, I'm about to save these to the Craigslist ad here in a minute. Look at this one. I've got another ad. It says, text me. So I put my phone number on there on two different pictures, and I'm spreading them out. I'm putting the call to action on my ad everywhere. Other than the interior pictures, which I could continue to, to put these little thumbnails on there, I'm only putting them on the exterior pictures, okay? Because I'm not trying to wear them out, but I'm trying to psychologically stay in front of them, all right? I'm trying to tell them what the next step is. All right, look at this. This Jeep has brand new tires. Brand new tires. I mean, listen to me, that, when I see brand new tires, that says, hey, this has been taken care of, okay? Leather, navigation, right here. I've got it. Let's just talk about it again. I've got a nice picture of the tire here. And then if you look, see this tread depth shot? I even took that picture right there just to show the nice tires. And then obviously um, a nice upper shot of the tires. So let's do this. Let's get out of this and let's start jamming out and post this sucker. All right. Um, so I'm going to go, which obviously you guys probably know how to post on Craigslist. And just in case, let me back up into this. Go to my account. When you log in, 
Okay, I'm gonna post this for my wife's little brother. His name's Alex. We're just gonna throw this sucker up here. I'm going into Oklahoma City. It's the closest area to me, okay? I'm gonna hit go. I'm gonna go to for sale by dealer. I'm gonna tap that. Go to cars and trucks by dealer. I'm gonna tap that. And then here we go. All right, now on the posting title, this right here is crucial, okay? I will only go post in all cap locks, okay? Only will I post in all cap locks. Guys, people hate it when I put all cap locks, or they're like, why do you do that? Why do you do that? Why do you do that? Guys, I sold 60 cars a month off Craigslist when I did only cap locks. I don't know why everybody hates it, and I don't know why I do it that way. I have the worst grammar in the world, but it works, okay? So I don't care what everybody feels about how something that I do is done, I just care what works, okay? Cap locks. This is a 2014 Jeep Wrangler. So I always go year, make, model, what makes it unique, what makes it a hot deal, what makes it a rare find, what makes it special. So 2014 Jeep Wrangler. Mm -mm -mm. And we'll put Rubicon. Four wheel drive, hard top. All right, now look, I can spell out leather, right? I can spell out navigation. And see, I'll always space bar it and see how much room I have. I always go till the end. Now watch, I'm gonna try to put like new, it may not let me. Like new. Oh, it fit just perfect, man. Amazing. See, if I space bar my ad, I can't put anything else in there. All right. Price here, let's do 269. Okay, zip code 73072. Now look, you see this city or neighborhood right here? This is where the payment goes. All right? So this is a 14. There are some credit unions on the market that will go 84 months on a on a 14 model. Okay? If you had the best credit in the world, maybe you could get 3.99%. All right? Now listen, you can you can do some things here, like I can type in. I can type in simple payment, S simple payment calculator, right? Let's just try to find a simple payment calculator right here. All right, so here's one right here. Let's just see how easy this is. Now look, I can use my phone, obviously, but I'm using my phone to record this here. Um, how much will you borrow? What's the interest rate? How long will the term be? All right. So look, I'm just gonna go out here to the side and I'm gonna type and I'm, I'm just, I'm moving this little bar here. Let's see, so the price is 26.9. So that's the price. What my interest rate be? Let's figure the payment off 3.9%, okay? Now remember, it's WAC, it's with the proof credit at the bottom of the ad, okay? And how long is the term for? Seven years, right there. What's the payment? Estimated payment is 369 a month. Watch this. Do you guys see that right there? Right here. Listen, this video is going out, but I'm going, uh, let me send you the ad. Text me when we're done with this ad. I'm gonna make it live. And if you want this ad, it's real simple. Say, hey Andy, shoot me that ad. Boom, I'll shoot it to your phone for two seconds just so you have something to look at while you're posting your next car. $369 a month, period. All right, let me go down here. Watch this. The first thing I do on the description line is that customers, 80% of people that buy something on the market right now, they care about payments. So watch this. I'm going to do it again. $369. Aim, well, actually, I'll put this. Get payments as low as $369 a month with zero cash down. All right, that's the first thing I'm coming out of the gate with. I'm gonna space bar it, and I'm gonna go down to the next line. Now I'm gonna start doing my ad writing, okay? All right, now I know a lot about this Jeep, okay? This is a 14 model. It's got 95,000 miles on it. Is that low miles? I think so, it's 2020. So, I mean, just think about it. I mean, basically, I don't know, it's been on the market six years, six divided by 95,000 miles. I mean, what's that, 15,000 miles a year? I'm not great at math, but that's pretty average to low miles. So guess what? I'm not gonna put the miles on this ad. I'm not gonna put the miles. I'm gonna fish for the phone call, 
okay? And I'm gonna, and when they call me and they say, hey, how many miles are on that Jeep? I'm gonna say, oh my gosh. Look, I'm gonna tell you this. If you were here in front of me and I was showing you this Jeep, I'm gonna share with you. If I, if I covered the odometer and I had you drive it and you were like, oh my God, is this a brand new Jeep? I was like, no, it's not brand new, but it looks brand new and it was babied and taken care of, but it's not brand new. Can you guess how many miles are on it? Um... You, Mr. or Mrs. Customer, you would guess it had 15,000 miles on it. That's how nice it is. But the deal is, is that it doesn't. Because if it had 15,000 miles, it'd be $40,000. The good deal with you is that it's not $40,000. It's only 26.9, and it has 90,000 miles. But at the end of the day, you're going to do what? Spend your money to get what? A, basically a Jeep that'll be new for you and your family, at the best price point for the lowest payment that has been the best well taken care of. Guys, I've seen 15,000 mile Jeeps that look like they have 90,000 miles. I've seen 90,000 mile Jeeps, right, which are rare. This is the one percenter Jeep here that looks like it has 15,000 miles on it. This Jeep will be new for you and your family. And plus Wranglers, they run a half a million miles. I'm just telling you, they're unbelievable. Now guess what? If I had put that miles on the ad, would the customer have the option to maybe think, oh, those are high miles? and then you know, never contact me? Yeah, but since I didn't put the miles on the ad and I'm not going to, guess what? I fish for the phone call and now when the phone call comes in, didn't I overcome that on the phone? Didn't I, I change their perception of maybe what they would have thought originally about the miles since I had an opportunity to speak with them and kind of explain it that way? Hey guys, if I had covered the odometer and had you guess how many miles are on this, man, I'm telling you right now, you'd guess it had 15,000 miles after driving it and checking it out and all that, but it doesn't. And if it had 15,000 miles and you want a 15,000 mile Jeep, right? That Jeep's gonna cost you $40,000. But the good deal is you get a, a 369 payment, right? You get a, a brand new Jeep for you and your family and you get to spend about 15,000 less. And does it have a little more miles? Yeah, but it doesn't drive like it and it doesn't look like it. All right, let's move on. So check out this ad writing here. So I'm gonna go, this is a 2014 Jeep. I'm a horrible typer, guys. Wrangler Rubicon Hardtop um, Four Wheel Drive that just got traded. Remember, I talked about like getting um, urgency that just got traded in this. We'll, we'll put this morning. Okay, this Wrangler is in mint condition, okay, inside and out, and literally looks like a 2020 model on the showroom. All right. Looks like a 2020 model on the showroom floor. I'm building it up, baby, making that steak sizzle. All right, check this out. It's black in color and has the gorgeous, so watch this, we'll call it cowhide. Cowhide premium leather interior. Guys, I know that ain't cowhide, but I kind of like it. We'll figure it out. Maybe we change the ad in two days if it don't sell. I think it will. Watch this. It's hard loaded with everything under the sun. Whoa. Like, okay, now I'm gonna name, now I'm gonna nail some of the stuff. Premium leather seating. Okay, now I'll put here, Heated seats, okay? I'm gonna put, hey, you could put navigation, I'm gonna put touch screen, right? It sounds better, guys. Touch screen, in, dash, navigation. Of course we know it's in the dash. Look, if I said it has navigation, or if I said it has touch screen, in, dash, navigation, which sounds better? Guys, your words are everything. All right, um, I'll put all power options. The upgraded, notice I said upgraded three piece hard top. Okay, we're just gonna name that again, make sure we say that. Okay, let's put, uh, let's put um, premium wheels. Um, pr 
premium. Ooh, let's do this. Um, we'll put uh, the, here, actually, you know what? Let's just go back to premium. We'll put smoked. Rubicon wheels. Brand new Nitto all terrain. You see how I'm going, like, look at that. Brand new Nitto all terrain tires. I could put new tires. How about brand new Nitto all terrain tires? Did I say oversized tires? No. People never want to hear oversized tires. 18 year old kids do, but I am making this ad built for everybody. Everybody loves Nitto All Trains, okay? So check this out. Um, so as we're going through this, I'm gonna put, watch, keyless entry and alarm with remote start. This has got remote start on it, right? Well, so we'll put the remote start and it has, and I'm just gonna put two, see right here, it's got two keys on it. So let's call it out. All right, so with that being said, that's pretty much the logist of this. Now let's go into how it drives. It drives like a brand new Rubicon and has never been off the pavement. A day in its life. All right, check this out. This is the beautiful part of kind of where this comes in. I know where this Jeep came from. It was traded by an older couple. So let's do this. It was traded in by an older couple who babied it. And I'm just gonna put, you'll never find another Rubicon now watch this statement again in your life. This nice. Oh. Sorry about this long, but I want you to understand how I write these ads. Listen, anybody and everybody that's got off the, the, the video by now and they're just like moving on about with their day, they are never going to own the internet. Never. And if they post an ad online, and then they don't get any leads on it, they're gonna be like, oh man, that sucks, Craigslist sucks. Guys, people are selling 40 to 50 a month off it, not even taking ups, because they know how to do it and there's an art to it. I'm sharing it with you. Those guys that are doing that, by the way, I train them, okay? So if you wanna kill it in life, did I ask you to go post 20 cars a day on Craigslist? No. I said do one, one quality ad. The way that I tell you to do it and then watch what happens in a week from now. You guys will call me saying, hey Andy, where can I mail your steak dinner to? Come on. Watch, you'll never find another Rubicon again in your life this nice, right? And I'm gonna put dot, 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 especially at a price like this. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and add this little deal. The trade-in value, value on this Wrangler is 28,500. And the retail is 28,500. Now, here's the deal. If you don't, if you're pricing your Wrangler at retail, that's fine. Because this Jeep has 90,000 miles on it, guys, we stole this Wrangler. I mean, I think we put, I don't know, 22 grand in it. You know, 21 grand. So putting it online for 26.9, that's nothing. I mean, like we're, we're making good money on it. We're gonna flip it, make a five, six grand deal, and uh, I don't even have to price it at 32 grand. Um, okay, and I'm gonna, my one last thing, so I've said, and the retail value is 32,000. And I'm gonna put, this is the deal of a lifetime. All right, now check this out. Last thing, right, it also, has a clean Carfax, is a non-smoker, right? Um, we could put non-smoker vehicle, and has been garage kept every night of its life.
All right, we're pretty much done here now. Well, hold on. I mean, now slow down here. Stay with me, but we're done pretty much with the heading on the ad. Now watch this. I'm gonna hit the enter, and I'm gonna put, we give top dollar for trade-ins. Have, and out here, let's put, and, and have amazing financing available. Right, that's it. Now watch this. This is where you gotta put your phone number here. Make sure you spell this out. Call Alex at, okay? And let's, let me see again what Alex's dang phone number was. I just had it here. We'll put it on that ad, what was it? Um, where you at? Let's go right here. I think it was right here. Here we go. All right, 831-0616. Let's put that on here. 405-831-0616. Alex will sell this Wrangler in the first five hours he puts it online. In the first hour, he's gonna get 50 leads, you watch. And how much did he spend to do it? Five bucks. Oh my goodness, call Alex to set up a time to see. All right, I'm gonna go underneath it one line and I'm gonna put have a blessed day. All right, so you can have a great day, whatever. Now look, you got to put your disclosures on your ads. I take it and I space bar down 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, what do I do now? Watch this, I take cap locks off. How did I get my payment? 84 months, see it versus 84M, right? I'm gonna put the times, right, times, see that? 3.99% and watch, W-A-C. See that right there? There's my payment disclosure, all right? Now, he works for Oklahoma Motor Cars. So I'm gonna put the name of the store down there because in Oklahoma, maybe in your state, you don't have to put the name of the store, but, you're, but the state here in Oklahoma, when you post something on there, you have to have the state with the Motor Vehicle Commission. Every state's different, Oklahoma's pretty strict. So we're just gonna put Oklahoma Motor Cars, but it's down there at the bottom. Nobody's really gonna pay attention to it, but it's still on the app. So I got my disclosure, I got my dealership, and um, I'm gonna put the, the address, 2505 West Main, okay? Um, and they make you put the address on there. Remember, I don't. you guys don't have to do this in your state, okay? Uh, you don't have to do this where you're at. In Oklahoma, they're pretty strict about it, so I'm just throwing it on there um, to be safe, and at the end of the day, it doesn't cause anything. You notice how this is all cap locks, right? This is all lowercase. It's just it's down there at the bottom. Nobody pays attention to it. All right, this is important. A lot of you guys are filling out too much information here. Do the basics, okay? Go back to cap locks, make and model, Jeep Wrangler, okay? And look, what is what kind of Wrangler is it? It's a Rubicon 4x4. You got to put that there because that's how Craigslist pulls their algorithm, okay? English, it says condition here. Look, I'll put like new, okay? I'm not filling out the cylinders. On the drive, since it is four-wheel drive, I'll go ahead and put it. But if it was a two-wheel drive, I wouldn't put it, okay? There's the fuel, I'm gonna put gas. Remember in the green, you gotta fill that out. I'm not doing paint color, I'm not doing size. Title, clean, transmission, automatic. I'm not doing the type, and then when it goes to, to uh, the model year, um, just go to 14, I'm ready to roll. You see this right here? Look at this, do you guys see this right here? I'm circling around it. It says cryptocurrency okay. Don't click that box. Delivery available. Guys, click that box. That lets people know out of state that if they made a deal with you, that there is a delivery that could be available where they could pay for it and you could ship it to them. Now, they have to pay for the shipping, sir. But there's delivering of available. And you see where it says include more ads by this user? I wanna tell you something. If you post great ads, what happens is when someone gets on your ad, okay, and they look at it, if you click this box where it said include more ads by this user link, it basically tells the customer on Craigslist that you have more cars that they can look at. So instead of that customer going and digging through Craigslist to find more cars, they can actually just click on your little link and they can see all the cars that you have posted. You wanna make sure you keep that posted. All right, let's go to the bottom. Look over here in this box. It says, con it says, in it says contact info and it says email privacy options. Look at this. 
Craigslist email relay recommended. Bull crap. Click off it. Put no email, no, no replies to this email. Okay? You see that right there? Do not let people email you. What did I tell you? Get the text message. Okay? So you see this right here? No replies. Click it. If you don't click off that, you're going to have people trying to send you emails. Don't get caught up in that game. Just put no emails here. It doesn't even give them an option. Okay? Now over here, right? It says show my phone number. Click that box. Next to it, it says calls. Next to it, it says text, right? You see that right there? Come over here and it says phone number. You have to retype in the phone number again, okay? Name, Alex, okay? And then here we go. And you see where it says, uh, Craigslist actually highlighted this lately. It says ignore text requesting your login and credit card. If people give you that bullshit like, hey, we want to pay for this. We're going to do it through PayPal. That's a scam, guys. Just delete the text message and keep rolling. Um, okay, now look, I'm going to hit continue. This is where we're about to get to the fun part. Check this out. It asked you right here, is this okay on the maps? Just continue, let's move to that. All right, this is where we're gonna get into the images, okay? So, I'm gonna go over here, all right, and see this? I got, I got these pictures in my email. I'm just gonna, I'm not sure how many of these I can, I can download here at a time. Let's do that one, two, three. You guys are gonna see how this ad is. We're, we're literally just a few minutes away from being done here, and you're gonna see how awesome this ad is. Okay, now watch. I'm gonna download all my stuff here, okay? I'm gonna go back here and watch this. I'm gonna start dragging these into this. Okay? And watch, you guys wait till this is done. This is gonna be kick, this is gonna be killer. Now look, you can rearrange these at the end, okay? I don't really care how you do it, but watch this. I, I can start moving them around right now, okay? And kind of putting them in place, but watch this. There's six pictures. I'm gonna go back up here again, okay? And let me see where I left off. I got that one already, okay. I'm gonna go to the next one. I'm gonna go six more, one. Two. You see all the pictures I took of the interior? Three, four. Guys, hang in here with me because this is this is the crucial part to finishing this ad. Um, all right, let's let's drag these back in here. Now you notice I'm saving these. I'm just dragging them up. I mean, I don't care if you're great. Look, if you need help posting a car and you don't know how to do the images and do stuff like that, guys, text me, 918-210-0254. I'll help you guys. I want you guys to kick ass, okay? All right, now watch this. The last picture I took is that steering wheel. All right, I got a few more pictures to upload here, and I'm gonna show you how this looks when it's done. Okay, let me see what picture I left on. Okay, so I got the navigation, the navigation, the navigation. I got the last picture of the steering wheel. Okay, cool, let's keep going. Okay, so it sounds like, it looks like this is the last part I need right here. I got that one. All right, we need to download that one. One, two, three, four. And, and I can take this one and say five. All right, I'm done, dude. Check this out. Let's finish this up here. All right, so let me finish dragging these last ones in. I'm gonna show you what you have to do here at the end of your ad, and I'm gonna show you how this ad finishes here in just a second. Now check this out. When you guys are sitting here watching this, I guarantee, and I, I mean this when I say this, you have never in your life ever seen this because no, this is the secret niche. I have never made a video showing you guys this, ever, okay? Cat's out of the bag, now you know. Doesn't cost you anything, it's free. Look, I'm a negotiating nut. I love showing people how to raise gross, make more money. This right here is gonna rain leads on you. Remember, take the 30-day challenge, one car posted on Craigslist today. Now watch this. At the end here, I wanna show you this, okay? Put all your pictures together, all right? All the exterior pictures, look, 
They all got to be together. Interior pictures all together in the beginning. Then it's kind of like the road to the cell, right? Meet green, fact find, qualify, you know what I'm saying? And then you're going through. This is from A to Z. This is the same thing. They're seeing the whole outside of the car, and then we're going to move to the inside. I got the front seat. I'm moving up. I got the back seat, okay? I might even start out and move up and start with the navigation, right? Right there. See how I push those pictures out of the way and I'm maneuvering this ad? I'm just moving it around. And let's say I get here and I'm like, you know what? I don't like that picture. Take it out. No big deal, okay? And maybe you don't want this one. If you don't want it, take it out. But guess what? I think this ad looks great. Now I hit done with images, okay? Guys, check this out. Woo, looking pretty. Talk about getting leads. Not only is this gonna sell today, okay? But when you post an ad on Craigslist, it stays live for 30 days for that $5 you spend on it. Look at this. You see how nice and pretty that big heading is? Yep. Guess what? You see that 369 payment? They're fishing for it, okay? What do you see there? What's the first thing you see when you look at that ad? Text me real big. That's my first picture. Why do I put text me on the first picture real big? You notice it's yellow and bright? Because even if they don't click on my ad, when they're scrolling through Craigslist and they're digging around on all the ads that are out there, what does that one do? It pops, man. Okay? You know, hell, I, I could have put, must look at this ad. I mean, I could have put that. And it will stop and people subconsciously will click on that ad. Okay? Now watch this. Watch as I scroll through this here. This is your customer. This is you. And you're like, you're the customer and you're like, hey, man, that's a pretty nice Jeep. You know what? I, I can actually envision that sitting in my driveway. I wonder if I should text this, text this guy. Why is he thinking that? Because I put it. Watch as I go through the pictures here with me. Look at that. Top dollar for trade-ins. Great financing available. We get nine out of 10 people approved. No credit issues. No payments due until March of 2020. Leather navigation, right? Brand new tires. Text me again, right? I got some interior pictures here, and guess what? Bingo, bingo, and bingo. I've got a beautiful description here. I've got, again, call Alex down here. I got the phone number. I got payments here. I got payments here, okay? Go down to the bottom. I got a little disclosure here. Guys, how long did it take us to make this ad? First of all, if I wasn't talking and going through it with you, I could have probably made it after, if I'd have, after taking the pictures. I don't know, maybe, maybe five minutes taking pictures, uh, getting back inside, probably five minutes, you know, kind of putting my thumbnails on on the pictures, right? You know, uh, so that's 10 minutes. Um, writing the ad, 10 minutes. 20 minutes. You're sitting inside. You got a great ad going. Now you go outside. You take your internet leads. You know what I'm saying? You, you take fresh ups on the lot. And this beautiful ad is raining leads all day long. Guys, check this out. Do me a favor. Give me a thumbs up on the ad. Okay, the $50,000, $150,000 extra you're going to make from doing this, give me a thumbs up and do me a favor. If you want me to send you this ad so you can see it on your phone and dig through it, there's great ideas on all these like headings right here, brand new tires, leather navigation, no payments. Guys, if you tell me who you are, where you're at, guys, I could have put this, imagine this, look. It's a big picture of a four-wheel drive truck. It says, don't get stuck in the snow. Get your four-wheel drive now. Guys, and listen, when I say 90 days till first payment, does everybody get 90 days till the first payment? No, no, they don't. But can people get 90 days till their first payment? Yes, yes, they can. We'll go over those details when we're handling the lead. You know what I'm saying? So everything is about fishing for more people. Guys, would you rather fish in a pond with one fishing pole in the water? Or would you like to go around the pond and set up 20 fishing poles in the water? I'm going to tell you, I got 20 poles in the water on this ad. Guess what? People are going to be biting. Guys, check this out. I hope you have a wonderful day. Do me a favor. Send me. If there's something that you need on the comments below, send it. We're sitting here in the little Elliott Group uh, headquarters training center. We're rocking and rolling. We got everything set up. It's early in the morning. I'm jamming out. I call this negotiation center. I love it. And uh, we're rocking and rolling. I set this ad for you. I'm going to make this live. Shoot me a text message. I'll, uh, I'll send you the ad to this. And I hope you guys have a blessed day, okay? See ya.